Rock it and roll it. Roll it and rock it. Rock it and roll it. Roll it and rock it. Hi guys, welcome back to Crafts and Decor. Today we're gonna use all these materials to make six different phone cases. We're gonna have so much fun together. So if you wanna find out how we made them, stay with me. Let's start. Okay, so we'll need six clear phone cases, pink, silver, and white glitter glue, fabric paint, a variety of acrylic paints, glitter foam sheets in a variety of colors, a pink ribbon, this beautiful fabric called tulle, pink, white and red air dry clay and shiny sheets of paper like these ones. For our first phone case, the first thing we'll do is to grab a roller and a marker to put some marks on the case. We're gonna make something similar to a corset. We're gonna make two marks. So we'll put the first one here and the other one here. We're gonna leave a gap of about one centimeter between our mark and the edge of the phone case. We made four pairs because these are going to be the holes for the lace of our corset. So next what we're gonna do is grab an O like this one and we're gonna make some holes where we made the marks. We've already made all the holes with the O so now we're gonna pass this needle with her pink ribbon through them. Make sure to use a needle that's not too thick so that you can easily pass it through the holes. Good! So we'll keep doing this as if we were putting the shoelaces on our shoes. So the next hole we're going for is this one. And then we'll just make a zigzag. It's looking great! Now we just need to make the other half. Be careful with your fingers and if you're having any troubles, ask for the help of a grown-up. It's cute, right? Good job! So let's leave our case here for a minute and we'll go to this side where we have a beautiful piece of pink tool. So now we're gonna grab a needle with pink thread and we're gonna pass it through the fabric making some pleats. If it's your first time sewing, you can use a thimble to protect your fingers. Once we're done, we're gonna pull through the thread to make the pleats for a skirt. That's right, we're making a ballerina skirt. It's really cute, I love ballet skirts so much. So now we need to put it on our phone case. So let's put some clear glue over here, right where the ribbon part ends, to stick our skirt to the phone case. Press and hold for a few seconds while the glue works. Once it's dry, we'll add some clear glue again, cause we'll put another layer of tool. But this time, it'll be purple tool. Let's make this skirt really fluffy. It's going to look so pretty. Look guys, here's our ballerina phone case. We have the ribbons of her point shoes and her beautiful skirt. Let's flip over this foam sheet. And on the side without glitter, we're gonna draw the tail of a mermaid. If you're not an expert at drawing, you can always print an image and then trace it. Here's my mermaid tail that I'm gonna cut up now. So let's grab these scissors and let's start cutting along the line. Here's our tail almost ready. It looks so pretty, but it's still missing some final details. So we're gonna make the fence with a piece of green air dry clay. Now that we have the first one like this, we're gonna make the details with a modeling tool like this one. We just need to draw some lines all along the pen. Once you're done with this, make the other one. And here we have our super cute pair of fins. Here we have three pieces of foam sheets in different colors. So now we're gonna flip over the green one and we're gonna draw some circles that will be the scales of our mermaid. So do this in all the foam sheets. And then we're gonna cut them out with scissors. Make sure to cut out all the scales that we made. You have to make as many as this. They look awesome, right? We're gonna put a little bit of clear glue at the top of the table because we're gonna stick on all the scales. So first, we're going to start with a line of the royal blue scales. And then we're going to put more clear glue, but this time over half of the line of the blue scales. And we'll put now the green scales. Here we have our beautiful mermaid tail with all its scales in three different colors. So now we're gonna flip it over because we're gonna cut away this part that we don't need. Now that we have it like this, we're gonna stick it to our case. So we're gonna put a lot of clear glue on the back and then we're gonna put it here. 
right in the middle of our case. It's looking great, but we're still missing the fence. Let's put them at the end of the tail with clear glue. Now that the clay is dry, you can press and hold while the glue works. Once we have it like this, we're gonna add some glitter glue to the fence to make them look so sparkly. So add some lines of glitter glue over them and then spread the glitter over the whole surface. And here's our second case, it looks so beautiful! If you like mermaids as much as me, I'm sure you're definitely going to want this for your phone! Let's start with the third case of today's tutorial! Okay, so we're gonna take this sheet with animal print and we're gonna put it inside our phone case. And we'll take your pink textile paint and we'll start tracing the spots of the animal print very carefully. We have to cover the whole phone case with pink spots to make a whole new animal print. Here it is! It looks so cool, right? So once it's dry, we're gonna add another color. We're gonna put pale rose textile paint in the spaces left between the fluorescent pink paint. And once the paint is dry, we're gonna apply a layer of glitter nail polish to give our case a sparkly finish. So make sure to cover all the surface of the case and that be it. And this is how our animal print phone case looks. It's so cool and I love the fact that it was so easy to make. We basically just needed three different things to make it, so I'm sure you'll be able to get all the materials easily. It's time to start with our next phone case. We're making a unicorn for this one. So the first thing we'll do is to paint it all white. Once the paint is dry, we're gonna put the case on top of this sparkly paper sheets. We're going to trace the holes for the camera and the flash. Great! Now that we have traced the top of our phone case onto them, we're gonna start drawing the hair for our unicorn. So first, we'll draw the bangs for the blue one that's going to have the largest bangs. So now that we have drawn the bangs for our unicorn on these two pieces of paper, we're gonna cut them out following the line. Here we have these pieces of glitter foam sheets that we're gonna use to make the horn and the ears for a unicorn. First, we'll start with the horn. So we're gonna flip over this golden sheet and we'll draw the horn with a marker on it. Now we're gonna cut along the line and after that we're going to make the ears with the white sheet and the part that's inside of them with the pink one. Here we have the body parts that we were missing for our unicorn, but we're still missing a couple of things. We have three pink ribbons in three different shades of pink. We're gonna use them to make some flowers to decorate the head of our unicorn. So let's take this one and let's start. First, we're gonna fold it in two, and then we're going to press this part with our fingers and we'll keep folding the ribbon until there's nothing left. Once we have it like this, we're gonna pull from one side of the ribbon and here's our cute little flower. So now we just need to put some glue on the back. We're going to do the same for all the ribbons left. So now we're gonna put everything together. First, we're gonna start with the blue part of the hair. We'll use some clear glue to stick it to our case. And then we're gonna do the same with the golden one. Then we're gonna glue on the horn and the ears. First, we'll put the horn right in the middle and then we'll continue with the ears. It's looking really cute so far. And we're not even done yet. Now we're gonna put all the flowers that we made next to the horn, as if we were trying to make a crown. Gorgeous! Now let's start with the final touches. We're gonna draw the eyes and the eyelashes with a pencil. Remember that the eyes will be closed because they look cuter that way. Once we have drawn them with pencil, we're gonna mark them with a black permanent marker. And finally, we're gonna put some blush on the cheeks with pink nail polish. And that'll be it, guys! Do you wanna see the result? So here it is! This is how our unicorn phone case looks! It's extra cute! I'm sure your friends are gonna love it! It's time to start with our next phone case! This one is going to be a galaxy! So first we're going to paint it black. You might need to apply more than one coat of acrylic paint in order for the color to take, then set it aside to dry. Once it's all covered in black and the paint is dry, we're gonna take a sponge with purple paint and we're gonna add some purple by gently pressing the sponge on our case. 
Then we're going to do the same but with a much lighter color like pink. So add some pink over here and there. And then we're going to do the same with blue. This is oddly satisfying. You should definitely try it. And we're going to do the same all over the surface of the phone case. It's going to look really really cool. I'm sure you're really going to enjoy the process. It looks good right? But we can still make it look even better. So we're gonna take an old toothbrush like this one and we're gonna add a little bit of white paint. Now we're going to paint some constellations with white paint and a modeling tool or a needle if you don't have one. So first we'll add some dots and then we're gonna join the dots with straight lines. You can look for the constellation of your zodiac sign and make that one. Once the paint is dry we're gonna put silver glitter glue over the constellations to make them shine like real stars. It's going to look so good! So make sure to use enough glitter glue all over the constellations that you made. And here it is! Good job guys! It looks like an actual image of the galaxy. And this one was also really easy to make, right? We just needed different kinds of paint and a sponge and the outcome was amazing! Now it's time to start with the last phone case of the day. First we're gonna take this piece of air dry clay and we're gonna make pizza dough with it. So make lots of small pizza slices. Here we have all the slices that we made. Oh, they look so cute! Okay, so now we have to paint them with yellow acrylic paint to make the cheese. So make sure to use an extra thin brush because this way it'll be easier for you. Once we have them like this, we're gonna take a little bit of this red air dry clay and we're gonna make tiny slices of pepperoni that will be the topping of our pizza. Here we have our slices of pizza. They look so cute! Okay, let's continue over here. Here's an image of Pusheen and here we have a piece of clear plastic sheet. We're gonna laminate Pusheen. So first we're gonna take off just a plastic layer of this sheet because that's what we need. And then we're going to cover Pusheen with it. Then we're gonna cut away the extra plastic. The plastic layer will make Pusheen look really shiny. It will also make her print last longer. Once we have it like this, we're gonna glue Pusheen to a piece of cardboard like this one. So let's flip it over and let's put some glue over here. Very good! Now press and hold for a few seconds while the glue works. Then we're gonna cut it with scissors. This step might be a little bit hard because the cardboard is too thick. So please ask for the help of a grown-up. Now we're gonna take this bottle cap and we're going to paint it with silver acrylic paint. Now it's time to put everything in its place. So first we're going to glue the slices of pizza to our case. So put some clear glue on the back of the crust and then you can put it wherever you want to. We've already glued all our slices of pizza and as you can see we left a hole in the middle of the case and this is exactly where we're going to put the bottle cap. So let's add some clear glue and then we're gonna put it right in the middle of the phone case. Okay, so now we're gonna put clear glue on the edge of the cap because we're gonna put Pusheen on top of it. Come here little Pusheen! And now we have to press and hold a few seconds while the glue works so that machine won't fall off. It already looks really cool but we can still make it look way cooler. So now we're going to glue one of the slices of pizza that we made with air dry clay. This way we're gonna make a 3D foam case. And now for the final touch we're going to take a little bit of grey air dry clay and we're going to make Pusheen's hands so that it looks like he's grabbing a slice of pizza. And here's our last phone case ready for you to use with your phone. It's adorable! I'm sure this one is going to be the favorite for all those Pusheen lovers out there. Look guys, here we have all the phone cases that we made today. They're all so awesome and cute. And my favorite thing is that they were all so easy to make. So if you like this handcraft, please don't forget to tell us in the comments below which one was your favorite. Give us a like and subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out any of our future videos. We love you so much. Bye bye. Get out of road it. Get out of road it. Get out of road it.